although some medals of honor were presented within months of the action that earned them. Others took decades. This was particularly the case for African-American soldiers. Until the 1990s, no African-American soldier was awarded the Medal of Honor for actions in World War II. In 1993, the Army asked North Carolina's Shaw University to study the issue and determine if there was any racial disparity in the selection of Medal of Honor recipients. Shaw found that such a disparity did exist. They identified 10 soldiers who had received the Distinguished Service Cross, the second highest award for valor, and recommended they be considered for an upgrade to Medal of Honor. The Army reviewed the 10 cases, and seven of the soldiers were determined to have earned the nation's highest award for valor. Because the statutory time limit for presentation had passed, special legislation was required to allow the president to present the medals. And on January 13, 1997, President Bill Clinton presented the seven awards. One of the seven men who finally received the recognition earned over 50 years earlier was Lieutenant John R. Fox. Lieutenant Fox was one of the Buffalo Soldiers, a member of the segregated 92nd Infantry Division, the only black division to see infantry combat during World War II. On Christmas, 1944, Lieutenant Fox was serving with the 598th Field Artillery Battalion as a forward observer in the town of Somocolonia, Italy. That night, hundreds of enemy soldiers infiltrated Somocolonia wearing civilian clothes. The enemy force was much larger than the small observer party. Most of the U.S. infantry troops in the town were forced to withdraw. Lieutenant Fox and a few others from his observer party volunteered to remain behind in order to direct defensive artillery fire to slow the enemy advance. By 4 a.m., much of the town was under their control and the Germans began to assault in force. An artillery barrage was followed by an organized attack by uniformed German troops. Lieutenant Fox and his small party were badly outnumbered. At 8 a.m., Fox reported that the Germans were in the streets and attacking in strength. He and the others were stationed on the second floor of a house in town from which Lieutenant Fox could call in coordinates for artillery. Fox spoke by telephone to the fire direction center directing the artillery rounds. As the Germans pressed forward, moving in on Fox's position, he called the strikes in closer and closer. When he gave his final directions for the artillery, the artillery unit believed Fox must have the coordinates wrong. He had just called for 75 heavy artillery guns to train their fire directly on his position. When they questioned him, Fox responded, fire it. There's more of them than there are of us. When the U.S. troops retook the town, they found the bodies of Fox and the others of his party in the rubble. But his calm direction of artillery fire had slowed the enemy assault so that other American soldiers could escape, provided time for an organized counterattack, and killed over a hundred of the enemy in the process. Although Fox's sacrifice was widely known at the time, he was not awarded any medal for valor for decades. He had been recommended for an award, but it had gone nowhere. Whether this was due to institutional racism or simple bungling of paperwork is hard to say. Eventually, Honden Hargrove, a friend from college and the Army, compiled the evidence needed for Lieutenant Fox to posthumously receive the Distinguished Service Cross in 1982, which was presented to his widow. In 1997, that award was officially upgraded to the Medal of Honor. African-American who deserved the Medal of Honor for his service in World War II 
received it. Today, we fill the gap in that picture and give a group of heroes who also love peace but adapted themselves to war the tribute that has always been their due. Now and forever, the truth will be known about these African Americans who gave so much that the rest of us might be free. The Buffalo Soldiers of the 92nd Division had proven, as other African American soldiers had done in every previous war, that honor and courage are not measured in pigments. Like Robert Wall, Jimmy Monteith, Carlton Barrett, and over 450 others, John Fox and Vernon Baker performed actions of courage, gallantry, and sacrifice above and beyond the call of duty. Actions earning them the Medal of Honor. Thanks for watching. If you'd like to help us produce more compelling historical content like this, please like, comment below, and share this video with fellow history buffs. And of course, be sure to subscribe to help keep history happening.